Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And as you can see here, I have kind of, you know, the best attempt I could do with the limited liveries and things that we had going uh, to make, you know, a Smokey in the Bandit homage Trans Am. It's, it's not right, but I mean, it's, it's a thing. I mean, it's an attempt. An attempt was made, and this is as close as I could get, because you can't get a golden, uh, a golden chicken on the hood. Best you could do is get a black chicken on the hood. And how do you do? Well, this is what I did. And I'm going to kind of do that again. Only as an homage to Buford T. Justice. That's right. We're going to do a police car today. That's an attention getter. Now, Buford always drove a Pontiac as well. You don't realize it was a really a Pontiac movie. Uh... Buford T. Justice used to drive a, a Le Mans at first, a 77 Le Mans. Then later on he drove a Bonneville. And then in three, I forget what this was. It's you know, some Pontiac something or other. I'm not real sure. So, when you're looking at the kind of cars he drove, they were really more like the Stanger or the Unmarked Cruiser. But neither one's a Pontiac. None of them really looked the part. I mean, you know, it's not really... Not really up to what we would expect Buford to have. However, there is a link to uh, Buford T. Justice through Mopar, through Dodge. Because back in the day, back in 1970, seven years before Smoking the Bandit, they were Dodge commercials with a, uh, a very familiar looking police officer. Only this time he was named Sheriff Joe Higgins. Hey, boy, that's car. Uh, What's wrong, officer? Boy, you're in a heap of trouble. Violates the city orders 11 Dodge 14, operating a racing type vehicle inside the city limits. Oh, officer, this is the new Dodge Challenger RT. It's it's, it's not a racer. Hey, that. What kind of tires them, boy? Optional polyglass GTs. Racing tires. Them stripes, that boy, what you call those? R racing stripes. <laughs> I suppose that's a reconverted lawnmower motor. Optional 440 Magnum V8. What's that doohickey in that, boy? Well, that's a new optional slapstick racing shift. So look, it's got uh, concealed wipers, and it's got dual headlights. You don't find that on any racer, do you? Careful, boy. I'll book you for sassy law officer. If you can handle the way people react to your 1970 Dodge Challenger, you could be Dodge material. Now look, boy, I know a race car when I see one. So here we have Challenger commercials with a guy that eventually, a, a character that inspired uh, Buford, I'm sure. That, that, that one character was probably written from another, and someone looked at that and said, hey, yeah, this is what we need. It, it's kind of obvious that they're similar. So I thought, hey, let's go with the Gauntlet Interceptor, and I've been doing some grinding. This is my high score now, for the most part. This is as much money as I've had for a while, $267 million and change. We're going to drop that a good bit today, but we'll we'll get back there at some point, I'm sure. But the Gauntlet Interceptor. We've got the trade price. We've done all the things you need to do. And there comes a time in every middle-aged, middle manager's life when even a muscle car can't compensate enough. And when that time comes, there's only one option left. A muscle cop car. Congratulations, recruit. You'll be locked in a high-speed pursuit with your disintegrating self-esteem for years to come. Please note, this vehicle may only, can only, only, only be modified in properties you own, which still don't get, I guess they, they won't touch police cars at Los Santos Customs, and Benny won't do it, so, but if you own the property, which we do, and we have, we can work on it here. It's a lot of money. And that will take a little while, so we'll just... Step aside here, and we'll wait for it. Oh, shit! <laughs> I saw that, you son of a bitch! You did that on purpose! You go to wait in your grave! I got the evidence! Put the evidence in the car! But, but Daddy, you but put that... the evidence in the car! I 
put the evidence in the back. There's no way, no way that you could come from my loins. Soon as I get home, the first thing I'm gonna do is punch your mama in the mouth. That one didn't age quite so well. And here we go, the beginning of something wonderful. We hope. And here we can modify the vehicle up here. What were you looking for? Buford T. Justice, lawman of Texas. What can I help you with? Bumpers, front bumpers. Secondary. I don't think we're going to do much with secondaries on those. Secondary is going to be matched, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Secondary. It's all, it's all the same, really, here. This is more splitter, which I don't think we necessarily want. More splitter. We're not doing the wheelie bar and shoot. It doesn't wheelie. If it wheelies, I, if it had done the wheelie thing, I would have considered that. It doesn't wheelie because it's not a muscle it's car. Kind of I like to work on. Even though they describe it as a muscle car, it's emergency services. Let's see, big bore exhaust, tuner exhaust, race exhaust, side exit, titanium side exit. How does it look? Does it still have like the gap for the exhaust there? Let's let's just go with the. We'll go with the race exhaust. How many cars you got in this garage? Grill delete? No. I mean, the stock grill. I, I imagine Buford would have more of a stock grill. A black grill could work. Because we aren't going to have... You know, we're not. We're going to have a, you know, whatchamacallit. A fully painted everything. It's not going to be, this isn't going to be a black car. Primary open design. grill. Technology and budget permitting. Let's go with black and then see how this works out. You always change the headlight covers. Chrome. Now chrome might work because there's probably there's a little bit of chrome on on, on Buford's car usually. Do you now, need let's a go. Drink? We'll go chrome. Or Hood. Smooth hood. I don't think a smooth hood. Believe it or not, probably make it a, a rare car. One of these with a smooth hood. Mostly they're gonna blow it. I could go silly. Like Buford T. Justice has had enough with falling behind the bandit. But no, we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna go smooth. Smooth hood. Time. You have to trust me on this. Lights, headlights. Okay, we could do xenons, I guess. There it is. Livery. Okay, so we need... Yeah, a sheriff. Definitely a sheriff. Uh, is there another sheriff? The highway patrol kind of works for the way his... With that with that badge. Oh, that's a sheriff. Sheriff of Santos County, as opposed to... No rush at all. That one. Hmm. Which way do we want to go? That has the sheriff on the front. That was the one I was imagining. Let's let's go with the, the LS Highway Patrol with the sheriff's badge on the side that says sheriff. Police equipment. Okay, aerials. I mean, Buford's stuff was from the 70s. You know, it, it didn't have a lot of going on. He had lights. Life is hard when you can have anything. Life is hard when you can have anything. So we could go, we could give him all the upgrades so he can be listening to every, you know, radio channel. All he had was a CB going after the bandit. 
really almost can't imagine. Just uh, the Tech Array 1 or something like that. Or just plain. I mean, plain would be how that would probably look. We have an option on the lights. The emergency lighting. Oh, we don't get any, uh, we, we don't get the bubblegum machines. If you can think it, I can do it. Digging it. That's got the arrow, arrow kind of look to it. That, that has more of a classic look to it for me. Searchlight's basic. Will it work? Or use dual searchlights. He didn't have searchlights on his. How many cars you got in this garage again? That makes me think, do we really want to go back to the aerials and really just do this up? We'll give him some CBs. That's what we're going to do. The push bar. I don't think what he had a push bar. There? Technology and budget permitting. But, you know, some kind of... Interceptor push bar. Tactical. Assault. Let's go with the interceptor, because that's what he is. He's going to intercept. Rear panel. Primary. Stock row panel. I imagine this, it's blacked out, right? The black surround and plating. Oh, that's... We'll give it carbon rear panel just to give it a little bit of detail because the respray now Bubbles or something? metallic give us the browns not that brown that's a good looking brown for this but that's not what we're looking for we're looking for buford brown saddle brown oh sienna brown i think is where we're at here maple brown might be more accurate beechwood sienna hmm. Filter brown. I mean, definitely not. Like maple brown. It's, it's not quite. Yeah, Sienna might be too. A beechwood brown, I think, is what we're going to go for. Is looking good. With the pearlescent. It has a Sienna brown pearlescent. But let us ponder this a little bit. I think a gold pearlescent kind of makes it here. Kind of goes with the badge. Don't she look pretty? Secondary color is going to match. Looks almost as good as you. I mean, we could do. I'm trying, to remember, I'm trying to remember what his... I think his roof was a solid color because you don't see it for very much of the movie. Let me double check. What we're dealing with here is a complete lack of respect for the law. No, it, it definitely matched. But we have to do something with the wheels when we get down there. Roll cage. Do we want to give him a roll cage? Making decisions is stressful. No, I think he's, he's going to have a comfy interior. Roof. Carbon roof. No. No, no, that's not. Skirts. I'm not seeing any changes. Spoiler. We need some kind of spoiler. So secondary lip spoiler is fine. If you can think it, I can do it. 
suspension. Now, how do we want to handle this? Do we want to leave it up for ground clearance, slam it in the ground for handling? I think stock suspension for like driving over curbs and doing things like that, and perhaps you know the chili head run that's going to be inevitable. Race transmission, turbo tuning. The Bandit doesn't have a chance. Wheels, wheel type. Um, I want to find something here that kind of matches. It's some rough approximation. Kind of the dishes that uh, they had on that police car. I don't know that there's going to be... What if we try, try off-road crumbs? Now, mil-spec steelies kind of work. Because they're really just a bland, but chromed up... Uh, cover the wheel kind of thing. They were hubcaps. That's not going to look right. It's going to look too, too thin. Tuners. The nebules are kind of not far off, but they are completely off. I mean, we might just end up... I mean, I'm not going to leave them stock. Track ones. These are kind of thin. I mean, as far as low profile. They shouldn't be real low profile tires. Low rider. That's not really, the lead sled's not really perfect, but it's not, oh, wait a minute. Now the turbines, or the super fins, boy, let's not only back at the thing here now. What happened, daddy? The turbines, the turbines are not dead on, but they're, they're probably as close as we're going to get. Looking good. He needs bulletproof tires. Are almost indestructible. Windows, light smoke, because that's what you we do for everything. Uh, under the lights, does, does it have? It does not have ground effect option. Interesting, interesting. Let's take this to the ground and take a look at it. I'm going to get that some... Okay, here we go. Let's just... Excuse me, I am... Hey, look, it's the bandit! I have apprehended the bandit! I have not watched this movie enough time to get my uh, impersonation down. I have just apprehended the bandit. Hopefully we'll get that better later in the video, but... Yo, yo, sir! Sir, you are under arrest! Now, it'll be a little while before we take this up Chiliad. That wasn't the bandit. See, so it'll be a little while before we take this up Chiliad because... I have plans. We're gonna, we're gonna hook up with Pancro Jones. He's got one of these two, and we're gonna race those up uh, Chiliad. We can't do it in the actual race, but we can go there. And we can race. And then just go up and go down. And so... So there, huh? We're gonna, we're gonna do that. Let's go back inside. See it go up the, on the lift. As we ponder that eventuality, look at this. It does. It does seem to work, doesn't it? I mean, both of them are completely wildly wrong. But you know, it's. Oh, we didn't check to see if the if the uh, searchlights work. 
The searchlights don't work. I may take it. Though. This is kind of neat. Computers and all that. Where, where's, where's, I guess Junior's got to tuck his legs underneath here. Okay, let's. They work. Everything works. Okay, the, the searchlights stay. Can you like completely pull somebody over? They're frozen. Did you peel out? It's a magnificent power. Okay. On the chili end. Or something. We'll see what happens. Is it worth the five million? Does it five million I paid for this? Yep, about five. You know me, five, five something, four and a half. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Buford T. Justice, Law Man of Texas. I guess in this case it's now Los Santos. Buford T. Justice, fearless Law of Texas, the man who chased the bandit coast to coast. Buford T. Justice, now you have left us. Where are you, Justice, when we need you the most? He is totally unfazed. And don't go home. And don't go to eat. And don't play with yourself. It wouldn't look nice on my highway. Oh, you can think about it. But don't do it. Well, here it is, gang. The, the moment has come. We're going to manually, manually... Do the run up shut it off. Because emergency vehicles. It is night, but we do have lights. I am not trying the jump because it is a much bigger headache if uh, if I dump it in the water. He's laughing. Did you dump it in the water? Water? Help! <laughs> Yep, he dumped it in the water. Okay. Not a big problem with this. Try to. Doctor, you're gonna be talking out of your ass. Daddy, the top came off. No shit. That's exactly what I was afraid would happen. Same truck is just messing with us. Still afraid to take it. He's not afraid to take it. Brakes, brakes, just hop it up and whoa! 
even going too slow, that didn't work out good. So you take it the safe way. Whoa! He's ahead of me this time. Okay. We're good. We're good for ten. That's just the difference in in the jump. I don't even have my headphones on. I have no idea how annoying these sirens are. But how can we not? How can we not have the wee woos? My gut instinct says this is going to really do smashing we smashing we smashingly well as long as I don't fall off a bridge. It's night. You can see the computer screen in through the back window. That's cool. It's rear-wheel drive muscle car stuff, but so much power and adequate grip. The power really kind of does make it work. For the most part. Yeah, right now I'm just I'm just his inspiration. He has to know it's doable. He's definitely got a car on the bush or something like that. Ooh, it really does not like the bush. Wow! It hates bushes. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go back up. I think it can do this. It just I'm convinced as long as it doesn't get turned on a bush. Yeah, all right, we're good. Oh, he's got a bad way. That's... That will work. But he is powerfully affected by bushes. That turned me completely sideways. One bush. Still, yeah, jostling around even just little bits here. Zing! Boof! That's a largely symbolic thing because we don't have. Oh dear. We don't have an actual checkpoint. But that would have got it. Oh, should we try? Are we going to try and do the, uh, the full send on this? I don't see where we wouldn't. I've lost it. I've lost it completely here. I missed the turn utterly. Still, we're, we're gonna get down. The lights are holding up. And it is the Buford T Justice police car, so it should be going down with a lot less parts. I'm telling you for the last time, I happen to have my young son in the car, and I don't want to hear that kind of language. Oh, he made it down! Look at that! Oh, and up! Oh, the train!
How far up is he? Oh, he's gone. But still, I think we've proven that this baby can do it with Wii Woos. Didn't even reboot the computer. Really don't want to launch it. Okay, see, that's, it's a good thing we didn't go into the water. That was... Making some money back. I don't know, what's my goal at this point? I mean, yeah, there's... Right now, it's it's May... May 8th, I think? Something along that. May 8th. Well, I put this up a little bit sooner than usual, probably. Yeah, I might not put it in like the... Wow! Bring it down, Buford. Okay, very good. A good view of the engine. Does not like bushes. Does not like the bushes. Makes the jump, though. He's looking for me. He's there, and he's wondering where I am. Wow, it's again, just a bush. Bush hit me. More bushes, avoid the bushes! How do we end up here? Okay, that was... Visually interesting, okay. It's not. Probably not the right point in the dark. We can see in the video. This is pristine. Alright, so you're in the door, the, the pre-dawn. We're gonna do what we normally do. Manage vehicles. Um, vehicle preferences. Remote functions, engine headlights. Why can't I do the doors? Oh, you got police stuff in the back here. Police stuff in the car. It's very police. It's got a cop motor. It looks like the alternator has fallen off and is down by the. Uh... <laughs> that's, not, that's not where the alternator goes. Okay, come on.
that's different. Different cop motor here with the with the with the hood selection. Well, it's got a different intake kind of thing going. That's neat. Or is it just because mine's been torn off? Oh, I went with the flat roof. The, the flat roof. The flat hood. I can speak English. I know I can. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen. Poof! Ow! I don't know that he intended that. Sorry. <laughs> No problem. Probably going to be hanging here with a little bit of bankroll for a little while longer, but as far as this video goes, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Thank <laughs> you.